These were ordinary folks. They were your neighbors, unassuming people who just had the fire in their belly to make a difference. And 30 years later, this is what their legacy looks like. Ranger Chuck Arning with the National Park Service here in the John H. Chafee Blackstone River Valley National Heritage Corridor. And it's clear that we enjoy a legacy of a much cleaner river today thanks to the vision, the persistence, the incredible amount of hard work, and the belief that the Blackstone River was worth saving by a very small group of people. And look what the river is like today, why people are fishing and canoeing up and down the river, they're biking and strolling along its riverbanks. Matter of fact, people are even buying condos to be closer to the river. Imagine that. And all because a few people had had enough. And they were going to make a difference. They were going to change the way things were. So thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Leighton. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you, Will. And thank you, all 10,000 of you Rhode Islanders who came down to Blackstone River in 1972 to make a difference. Now, folks, it's our turn. Today, we look in the river and it's got great potential. But 30 years from now, what will be the legacy that we will leave to our children about the health of our planet and the health of our river? It's up to us. So until next time, hope to see you on the river. It's a pretty awesome story, isn't it? A grassroots group of people who got together and truly made a difference. Now, here we are, almost 20 years after this episode of Along the Blackstone was filmed. And in many ways, the question that Ranger Chuck posed to each and every one of us is still just as pertinent today as it was 17 years ago. What will our legacy be? It's no mystery for anybody who lives in and around the valley that litter and trash is still a major issue along the Blackstone River. But thanks to many diligent groups of volunteers and people who still work so hard to protect the natural and cultural resources of the valley, we are still here today. But perhaps Ranger Chuck's question should prompt each and every one of us on this Earth Day to think about what more we can do to ensure that the resources of the Blackstone River Valley and our world are there for future generations. I'm reminded of a powerful quote which states, we do not inherit the world from our parents, but we borrow it from our children. May we live by that motto, that we are the caretakers of this earth for future generations, and hopefully our legacy of protection and care for the Blackstone River Valley will be just as important to our descendants, as the story of Zap is to us today. And with that, my friends, thank you for joining us here on Earth Day. I wish you all a very happy rest of your Earth Day, and certainly a happy National Park Week. And hopefully, we will see each other once again really soon out there along the Blackstone. <laughs>